Hi, this is Eternal King here bringing you another LOR video today. So, as we wait for Eternal Ladder to unlock, um, it's basically coming out in 20 days, I wanted to discuss what to expect day one. So you're coming out of Masters, assuming you were Masters last season, um, regardless of whether you placed, you know, top 100, top 10, top 1000, like again, it doesn't really matter, it's like you're, you're coming out of Masters from last season, um, you're playing day one, June 19th, Eternal Ladder. Um, and you're starting out in plat because, um, again, uh, Masters players start in plat. What do you expect? It's going to be a lot of Eddie, right? It's going to be an absolute crap ton of Eddie. Um, so being able to properly counter Elder Dragon decks reliably and win against them reliably um, will not only be the mark of a good player, it'll be the mark of a successful ladder um, experience, an efficient ladder experience. So there are three top decks that all have 60% win rates with Eddie and um, then multiple Eddie decks that have less than 60% closer hovering to the 50% mark win rate with Eddie. Um, so all told, Eddie will be the top played deck archetype in the format. Um, you will either be seeing Ramp Eddie or you'll be seeing Tempo Eddie. So again, like Tempo Demacia Eddie or like Freljord Ramp Eddie. And that's like the two Eddie decks that are the most competitive and then you'll have like you know uh, less competitive variants like shadow eddy with um uh, with the with again big champions on six like viego right so like viego eddy is one of the decks i talked about fairly early on in my videos and you know that's on the less less competitive uh spectrum so again that's like the top three decks you're gonna expect to run into um other things that you can expect to run into so that's like number one most popular deck archetype is going to be um tempo eddy uh ramp eddy and being able to beat those decks consistently will 100 percent define your laddering experience um there's really no two ways about it you have to be able to beat those top three eddy decks consistently if you want to not lose 60 percent of games on ladder which means that you will not rank up to masters so that's that's step one in terms of what to expect uh step two it's going to be aggro decks so it's things like um uh, zig's poppy right um is an aggro deck annie Jin is an aggro deck um azira relia can sometimes have aggressive hand states but it's more of like a rally based combo deck um so that that's gonna be the second most played archetype it's gonna be aggro um so yeah and then also like Jin um, um uh, lulu right so Lulu with Jinx and things like that. So those are going to be, um, you know, basically aggro, Eddie, and then you're going to have everything else, right? Like everything else is going to be in, uh, basically less played out. Um, so you'll have like the odd control player who might be running um, Jace Lux, which is a nice mid-range control shell. Um, you might have the odd control player running, um, uh, you know, Rise, right? And trying to OTK you with Rise. Um, and then you have things like um, uh, Bandle Tree, which is actually quite competitive. Uh, there'll be a small number of Bandle Tree players as well. And uh, yeah, that's going to define a lot of what the format has to offer is essentially, you know, aggro. And then if we want to call it Eddie mid-range, when it's not really, but some of them are mid-range. Um, so aggro, mid-range, control, combo. That's kind of the full suite of what you're looking at. And then different flavors like ephemeral decks. Um, so you might see some Hecarim or some Gwen Zed and that sort of thing which is you know um, probably inferior to upgraded as your Aurelia but again still very playable um, so you can also run that if you want to so all of these that's basically ladder right so your ability to not just target one of those matchups but your ability to win into a Russian roulette of those matchups is more or less going to determine your successful laddering experience um, if you can't beat any of the meta Eddie decks um, reliably, and I've shown myself doing that, you know, all the time on the channel. I love Eddie. Every time I see Eddie, I'm just like, oh, that's a free win. Eddie is just a free win. Doesn't matter what the construction is. Um, that's going to, uh, like, boost my win rate uh, substantially just off of those matchups alone. And people will play Eddie on ladder because they want to win. That's the thing, is, like, that's the big difference between, like, casual. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I can run this deck in casual and frustrate you with memes and non-committal plays and not do anything. And then you get on ladder, and then Eddie's just like, boom, stats. And, like, my, my board's massive, and, like, you just don't have any answer for it. Um, it's it's going to be problematic, uh, for sure. 
the only real indicator of your ability to do well on Eternal Ladder in 20 days is going to be A, can you beat Eddie? And B, um, can you, you know, again, so like something like aggro, can you out aggro Eddie? And then um, if you f face the aggro mirror, can you out aggro the other aggro player? Because that's going to be the, the, the way that ladder works, is that you're going to Russian roulette into these different matchups. So it's like, are you a better aggro player than other aggro players? And if you're an aggro player, can you beat Eddie while you're playing aggro? And like that would be like your 50-50 start off in terms of ladder. Like That'll be a lot of what you do in ladder. Is like aggro versus aggro, aggro versus Eddie, winning 80% of games regardless of matchup, um, or 70% of games regardless of matchup, and then skyrocketing to masters before everyone else does. Um, that'll be a lot of what the ladder experience is like. And then um, alternatively, if you want to come at it from the other side of the coin, it's going to be you saying, I want to be the Eddie player. I need to beat aggro with Eddie consistently, and then I need to out Eddie the other Eddie players. Um, and that'll be the Russian roulette that you face as the Eddie player. Um, uh, and your ability to do well in, in that those situations is going to 100% determine your win rate. So... Again, um, you know, something like Eddie Shivana, maybe you feel like Eddie Shivana is well teched um, into most matchups and you just feel confident. Like, okay, if there's an aggro player that's subpar, I'll beat them. If there's another Eddie player that's subpar, I'll beat them. And then boom, I'm, I'm masters, right? Um, that's the other way to come at it. So those, those are really like the old, and then your third approach is, you know, gonna be tougher um, in terms of just the way that LOR ladder works in internal right now is that you're gonna be trying to be the control player um, so you don't want to be the mid-range Eddie player, you don't want to be the aggro player, you're going to have to be the control player, and you're going to have to say that, okay, well, I am equally teched to beat both Eddie and aggro simultaneously. And it turns out that doing both of those things simultaneously for a positive win rate is hard to do in a control shell. Um, something like Jace Lux is decent because it has things like go-wide punishes, so it's really good at dealing with aggro. Um, so it's very good at the go-wide punish. And then it's simultaneously pretty decent at the go big punish um, because it can obliterate for six damage. Um, that turns out to be pretty good because it gets rid of deathless keywords and things like that. Um, but again, uh, other control decks will suffer. Like for example, Rise is one of my favorite decks and I'm very confident that my version of Rise will beat every single Eddie player. It'll also lose to every single aggro player. Um, like that's just the way that I tech my Rise deck. It's like I'm just punishing Eddie players 100% of the time. There's nothing they can do. Um, and then I'm losing to aggro 100% of the time. So again, I, I don't imagine I'll be playing that much rise when I get on ladder, um, just as like an assumption. But in casual, rise seems great. Um, so that's just like the difference between, um, you know, casual ladder or casual versus ladder um, in eternal. Is that you really do have to strive for these very specific um, matchup scenarios. Where it's like, okay, I'm aggro, I gotta beat aggro, and I gotta beat Eddie. I'm Eddie, I have to beat aggro, and then I have to beat Eddie. Um, I'm, and then, you know, everything brew that you make has to be simultaneously teched to deal with both polar opposite scenarios at the exact same time. And if you can't do that, um, you're going to, uh, not, uh, ladder well at all. Um, you might be hard stuck diamond if you don't properly tech for both scenarios. Um, so again, uh, first thing to do to learn if you're like, quote unquote, good at Eternal is just run the Eddie matchups. Um, that is my 100%, you know, best advice I can give to any person getting into wanting to get into Eternal seriously, not the casual experience, but the latter experience is just like run down your Eddie matchups. Um, just run them over and over and over and over again. And if you can just autopilot auto win into every Eddie game, you're like, you're like stonks on, on ladder, right? Just because there's going to be so many Eddie players. And if you can't beat Eddie, alternatively, every single game you run into Eddie, you just lose. Um, you're basically going to be hard quitting LOR until Eddie gets patched. Um, that's just the, the current state of the situation. Is you're basically going to be hard quitting, you know, LOR for a while. Like Grappler. Grappler is a great example of someone who's just like, I just don't want to deal with this. Um, because my play style is antithetical to the way that Eddie functions. Um, and that's fair. That's a fair perspective to take. So again, a uh, little advice on how Eternal Ladder is going to play out in 20 days. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's basically going to be exactly what I said. Um, this is Eternal King, signing out.